Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? We are ready for the event. So good afternoon on the International Space Station. It's been an interesting day for us. We've been uh, flying around the station, collecting our uh, last minute photos, our last minute items, and getting ready to come home. So a bit of a bittersweet moment, I think, for a day for all of us. So. Uh, just wanted to say, uh, we all like to say a couple of words, but of course none of this would happen if it weren't for the incredible professionals and human beings around the world that have made this space station possible, not only in the audacity of even thinking that this could happen, but in pulling it off. And then uh, at every day we interact with uh, individuals around the world that not only keep us safe, not only keep this space station running in orbit, but also allow us to help them finish up the dreams of uh, scientists around the world producing scientific data that will improve human lives for the better. And so we'd just like uh, to say a few words here as we're hopefully going to be departing the space station here in just a few hours. I just wanted to say what an honor and a privilege it's been to live in work aboard the International Space Station with this fantastic crew and also our crewmates who we served with on Expedition 66 who departed about a month ago. It's been a spectacular experience, I think really challenging, really developmental, but most of all, really beautiful to form these amazing relationships. And also not just with our crew up here, but like Tom said, with our crews all around the world in the flight control rooms who are there 24 seven, making what we do up here possible. Uh, it's just been the honor of a lifetime to contribute to the legacy of this incredible vessel that's been up here for more than 20 years. And I think for all of us, it's really hard to, to leave. We're really looking forward to getting back to our families and our amazing support network on the ground. Uh, but I'm just so excited for you guys to have a similar experience. Uh, we've been really lucky to see the whole full range of operational and scientific operations up here. And I can't wait to contribute going forward and all of the amazing things NASA is doing alongside our international partners with the return to the moon as part of Artemis. So uh, thank you so much to the amazing team around the world for making this a possibility and to our leadership for entrusting us as caretakers of this incredible station. And I'll just echo the thanks, uh, you know, uh, almost six months ago we came up here on Endurance, uh, the maiden voyage of a SpaceX capsule, and it was a great ride, and we're looking forward to, to riding that back to Earth and to seeing friends and family. And, you know, it's uh, exciting with Crew 4 here, but also a little bit bittersweet knowing that, that them being here means it's time for us to pass the torch and, and head back to Earth. Uh, but like Kayla and Tom said, you know, thanks to just everyone. Thanks starting with our families and our friends and our families who who've not only dealt with this six months while we're up here, but have dealt with the training and all the, the the time to get to this phase and then the control centers literally thousands of people around the world that on a daily basis support what we do and, and make what we do uh, even possible uh, the trainers that uh, got us here to begin with and taught us uh, even though we continue to make mistakes on a daily basis but uh, hopefully not critical mistakes um, but uh, the trainers that got us here that made this all possible and to the science teams uh, ultimately that's the reason we're here is to do science and so I think that's uh, for me and for all of us really the the most exciting thing about being a part of such such amazing achievements and we look forward to seeing the papers that are published to the the research that leads to you know new technologies and, and saves lives and that's the the really exciting thing uh, and just honored and humbled to have been a part of that for the last six months 
So, I also can only echo what my dear crewmates have said. It's been like six outstanding months up here in the space station. Thanks to the, my crewmates. It's been so beautiful. Thanks to all the people on the ground that supported us, the international partners, all the, the mission control centers around the globe, but also like in Europe, um, the European Space Agency, the German Space Agency who prepared a large part of the science complement that I was able to execute up here and also who trained me and uh, made it possible that I'm here today. It's um, the end of a six months mission, but I think the space stream lives on. So now is the time to uh, hand over command of the space station. And uh, just a, a couple of words about what it has meant to us to, uh, some more words, what it has meant to us to be here. You know, 100 years from now, uh, we'll be looking back on the uh, space station, the International Space Station, as certainly uh, an incredible engineering uh, accomplishment, certainly as a uh, way that uh, countries all around the world have been able to raise their technological base and have been able to produce scientific results, as we've said, to save lives and to um, improve human life. Uh, and being here a part of it, uh, another point in our uh, being a part of uh, history here has been the arrival of the first private astronaut mission so that uh, space will become open and is beginning to be open for everyone. So uh, the commercial crew program has uh, been a very much a part of our lives here as well. But I think the uh, lasting legacy of the space station is very likely to be international cooperation and a place of peace. So, Oleg, you're a very strong and experienced cosmonaut, astronaut. I know we'll be leaving the space station in good hands with you. And Ekopaj 3, Jalad Vam, Biazopasny, Uspiakov, and Goradstivo Robotia, and Chesliva Astavatia. And I relinquish control of the or command of the space station to you. I accept command. I accept command. Thank you for here. Thank you for friendship. It, it was um, in um, took an unbelievable time together. Tom, Kayla, Raja, and Matthias. And Matthias. It was a short period, very short. 45 minutes, 47 days, maybe. No, now, oh, brothers, sister, and um, you know. Uh, for, uh, I think, you know, uh, what um, more, more important things for us, for me, for Sergei, for Denise, it, uh, first family, our children, and um, peace between our countries, and our friendship. Thank you for friendship. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. Thank you. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.